The fourth installment of the Transformers movie series is a mega hit in China, taking in more than $115 million at the box office in its first week. And while toy and other merchandise makers are cashing in on the movie around the world, Shanghai reporter Yuan Chunye explores why Chinese movies don't inspire similar sales. Five of the six screens at this cinema near People's Square are showing the Transformers film. And many viewers say the Hollywood blockbuster is much better than most domestic movies. The movie's special effects are really good and also combines many global elements, such as Chinese martial arts, into the movie. Tsai Dong is a longtime fan of the Transformers and plans to see the movie soon. Now in his 40s, Tsai says he first saw the Transformers in a TV cartoon more than 20 years ago and became hooked on the shape-changing robots. In the 1980s, the toys were so expensive, an average Chinese worker would need to spend almost a month's salary to buy one. When I was in the middle school, one of my classmates borrowed another's transformer toy but broke his leg, and he had to pay 50 yuan. That was so unbelievable, as it was almost like you have to pay several thousand yuan now. Cui so still collects transforming like Spider-Man. He couldn't name a Chinese cartoon that had created interesting toys. Many Hollywood cartoons inspire all sorts of t-shirts and dolls to musicals. But Chinese cartoons rarely inspire anything more than some basic stuff. When animation fell off from the beginning, some cartoons themselves have no good quality in areas such as color or resolution. If they are still like that, they will lose. Other experts says developing derivatives is a complicated process that needs input from a number of different industries. Since China's animation industry is still under development, filmmakers should concentrate first on making better movies and then focus on licensed products next. Yuan Chenyue, ICS for CCTV, Shanghai.